Laura Jerka, and I'm a certified Google Education Trainer. One of the most common questions that I get from teachers is how they can limit access to a Google Forms quiz for students who are not present that day. Either they are absent or out of class for another reason. The easiest way to do this is to add a class code, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing that you're going to do is go ahead and create your quiz like you normally would, or you can take a quiz that you've already created. One of the fields that I always include is a name field, just in case something goes glitchy with the email collection. I've never had this happen, but if it does, I would still like to be able to associate the student responses with the student who responded. So, under the name field, I'm going to add a new field. I want it to be a short answer text field. And the question is going to be simply quiz code. Now, I'm going to go ahead and include a separation between part one and part two of the quiz. Part one is just going to be their name and the quiz code. Once we get everything set up, they will not be able to continue to the rest of the quiz until they have entered the correct code. So, in order to set this up, we are going to use data validation. And I'm going to have them enter text that contains. And I'm going to go ahead here and create a code that I will share with students who were present on the day of the quiz. In this case, it's a water cycle quiz, so I'm going to call it water cycle. And then the date that I'm going to give it is 1122, so 1122. I'm going to make this a required question. Once I set up the data validation, the student will not be able to proceed until they enter the correct code into the text field. Now down here, I can decide what I want them to do after they've been able to enter the correct code. In this case, I want them to go ahead and continue on to the next section. Now, let's take a look at what this looks like in practice. Here, the student has to enter the name, and they have to enter the quiz code. Let's see what happens if I try to enter the wrong code. What happens when I try to enter the right code? Then I'm able to proceed to the next section. But as you can see, until I fully enter the correct code, it will say, oops, try again, and I will not be able to proceed. Once I enter the correct code, I'm able to proceed to the next section. So using this method, you will be able to keep students who are absent or otherwise out of class from accessing the quiz until it's time for them to take it. Thank you for joining me. If you have additional questions, as always, please feel free to email me at toolsforteachers.mrsj at gmail.com. You can also check out my blog, The Esau Odyssey, for more great G Suite for Education tips at bit.ly backslash Esau Odyssey.